attention, right? Mm -hmm. If I'm starting to chop or I need to move around, I have this, you know, and it's not going to move, you know what I mean, out of place. Create some friction for the surface. Okay. I need to get here. Oh, sorry. Chicken is supposed to be at room temperature. When you cook any type of meat, you want to make sure that it's all at room temperature. Okay? And that way the chicken or the poultry or the, uh, the meat that you're cooking is all cooks evenly all throughout. So when you take something and you cook it cold, sometimes one side will get cooked and the other side will be a little bit under. So chicken breast. If you're cooking in the barracks and you're doing stuff like, you know, like a chicken breast or steak, you want to get thin cuts of meat, okay? Because then it doesn't take that long to cook, all right? You don't have an oven, so it's not like you can sear something and then throw it in the oven and give the oven the remainder of the time to cook. So you have your chicken breast. This is a pretty small, actually, chicken breast. Um, you don't have to necessarily, it's already comes, you know, the fat is already trimmed. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you season this chicken breast on both sides before you throw it onto the stove. So all I'm doing, salt and pepper, that's it. Salt and pepper. We're not gonna get crazy, we're not gonna do any type of, you know, marinating or anything like that. This is just simple, simple recipes. Okay. And it's getting there. I'm sorry, I'm going to keep on knocking into it. I apologize. Alright. Okay. Chicken takes around 12 to 15 minutes to cook. A cooked chicken temperature will be 165 degrees. Okay. If you don't have a thermometer, that's fine. But just remember, it takes around 12 to 15 minutes to cook. <laughs> well, for chicken, you don't want to cook medium. You don't want. You want to make sure chicken is well done. No, I mean the flame. Well, the hot. The, it, well, for now, we want we want to make sure that that pan is hot. Yeah, but what, do you have the burner on high? It's on high right now. At the time right now, it's on high. Okay. okay. It's on high. So the pan has got to be nice and hot. All right. Oil into no. the pan. Just lower and list it the end of the video. Lower and list to do something else. <laughs> I'm glad that you asked that, Sergeant, because the one of the most important things in cooking is controlling your heat, controlling the temperature and what you're cooking. Okay. So pan is hot. Olive oil heats up very quickly. You can tell. It's starting a little bit to smoke. You want to dip. Put the chicken away from you, okay? So from 6 to 12. You hear that sound? That's the sound that you want, okay? From 6 to 12, lay it away from you, and you allow it to cook. At this point, I'm just going to turn down my heat because I want to make sure that I'm controlling this, okay? I'm in control. Cooking should be fun, but at the same time, you want to make sure that you're not burning down the house, you know? When you get your cutting board, Label one side meat, the other side veggie. So when you cut anything, you're always cutting meat on the meat side, veggie on one side. I ended up labeling mine. You did? Mm -hmm. you said that you did. You're going to cook each side for around two minutes. I'm at 12.33 right now. my heat, making sure I keep my eye on my chicken. Okay. 
I'm gonna get a couple of cloves of uh, garlic. Way to de uh, to de peel garlic. Knife on garlic, and you crush. And you crush. Easy, very easy way to peel garlic. It peels right off. Look at that. Okay. Look at that. What am I at? 34. Almost there. Okay. Here, Now, pick it up with your fingers. 35. All that's not going to work. <laughs> I'm going to flip the chicken again. 6 to 12. Look at that color. Look at this. That's what you want. No color, no flavor. You have to have color. Okay? You want to have that sit in for two more minutes on that side. <laughs> Okay. When I went to the store, I went to go buy rosemary, but then I found poultry blend. These are fresh herbs. I I understand that maybe sometimes you might not want to, you know, cook the fresh herbs, but I'm just showing you an easy yeah. technique to uh, cook the uh, So you have here, if you smell, you have here your thyme. <coughs> This right here is going to give your chicken amazing flavor. Where am I at? 36. One more minute. Okay. I'm not crowding my pan. If I'm cooking a chicken breast, I don't want like three different, three chicken breasts on there. If I'm cooking one, give my pan, give my chicken breast time, you know, to cook. So I'm not crowding the pan. Okay. And that also is going to give you even cook and even cook throughout the chicken. Okay. I've been doing it wrong. I put like five on there. Throw some fresh thyme, okay, and rosemary there. A couple of cloves of garlic, okay, right there. And I'm also going to throw some butter. This is a technique called basting, okay. I'm going to get a spoon. Okay. Okay. Make sure that get that butter incorporated with my garlic and my fresh herbs. My heat is not too high, so I don't want my butter to burn. Look at this. I'm going to tilt my pan just a little bit, okay? And I'm going to take that butter and I'm just going to drizzle that right on top. Look at this. Come, come take a look, Lee. Uh, uh, Lee. Look at this. Okay. Just constantly drizzling those herbs, cooking the herbs, cooking the garlic, getting all that nice deliciousness. And you can use non-fat butter, your know, low-fat butter as well too. That, that's perfectly fine. Uh, I like to use the uh, olive oil and sea salt butter. Gives my uh, food a little bit more flavor. Okay. Constantly drizzling it right on top, just like that. It's called basting. Okay. Okay. I'm going to leave that right there in the middle. Do a technique like that for the ladies, you might get lucky. You know? At this point, I'm going to do just raise the heat up just a little bit because I want to make this chicken is a little bit thick, so I want to make sure that that chicken gets cooked properly. Okay? What am I at? 38. Okay. You baste one side, or you flip it and do the other side. Though. You can do the other side as well too. Yeah, you can do the other side as well too. Look at that! Look at that color. That is that 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 crust is going to give you it's going to give you uh, flavor, and it's going to give your your food different texture as well too. Look at that. Look at 
constantly drizzling that goodness, the herbs, the garlic, that mixture, right on top. Okay, it's not going to leave your food looking at it all day. Right? I should be at 39. Could I start off with 31? I'd buy that for seven hours. Maybe you gotta start a YouTube channel. Yeah, we said it was gonna be the cooking specialist. Okay. Okay, you just gonna like stay devoted? Yeah, he's gonna never promote. At the promote. same time, while I'm cooking, I could be doing other things, like what? Cleaning. Well, I could be doing the dishes. dishes. You know? Dishes so I don't make a mess. A clean area to work with, it's like you don't wanna have a cluttered desk at work, right? You wanna make sure you have a clean desk. You can start doing your cleaning. Make Stuart clean. Like I made here, I made pasta. Pasta is very easy to make. Oil your water, put salt into the water to give that water flavor. You follow the direction. Different pastas have different type of uh, cooking temperatures, or not temperatures, cooking time. Some pastas might take seven, some pastas might take ten, some pastas might take eleven. So pasta is a great thing to cook, you know, when you're serving something like this. Okay? What do you want? off. I even took my pan off as well too. My pan is still running just in case any smoke comes up. Okay? Look at this. What you got going on here? Juicy. Juicy. Really good, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want it, you want, do you, you don't want your chicken to be dry, okay? But you want to make sure that it's cooked. So you want to follow directions, okay? If you have a thermometer, again, 165 degrees, chicken cooks out how much, what's the temperature that chicken cooks at? I mean, the, the time that chicken cooks at. Two minutes each side. Two minutes each side, but what's the total time that you cook chicken at? 12 to 15. <laughs> 12 to 15 minutes. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Right. The only way that you're going to get better at cooking is if you try, and you practice, and you practice, and you practice, okay? So that's... The more you practice, the more you get to eat. Thanks. You guys want to try to taste this chicken? Chicken. Oh, right. 
chicken there you want to munch on. Tell me what you think. Flavor, juicy, crust. Yeah? How you like that? Yeah? That's like restaurant quality chicken. Cooking where? Inside of the barracks. Did I burn the place down? No. Gave it its respective time. Made sure that my area is nice and clean. Okay? And I did this. Again, it doesn't take a lot of time. 12, 15 minutes. It's easy to mess up for us. Now, flavor. Nice cooked stuff. Mm -hmm. mm. So, he, since you are one of the only guys that I know in here in the barracks that has cooking issues, <laughs> I bought you oh, that's a 25 piece cooking set. Okay. Uh, With six piece measuring spoon set as well. Let's do, let's do the whole one, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. let me step back. Oh, uh, okay. Good. I'm not in the picture, am I? <laughs> we, can, we can crop you. <laughs> Attention to orders. <laughs> All your face. Right? So, again, cooking is very easy and it can be very fun.